from the world of golf, uh, a stunning moment when a golfer was being interviewed about problems she was having on the golf course. And she said something that shocked the Golf Channel reporter. His name is Jerry Foltz. Had a round at the Palos Verdes Championship. And the woman he's interviewing, his name Lydia Ko, they were just talking about... She's the third-ranked woman oh, in the world. She's a good really? golfer. Very good women's golfer. And he was asking her about any kind of trouble she was having on the course. You asked for Chris Wicker to come out and give you a little physical therapy as well. Is that a concern moving forward? I hope not. It's that time of the month. I know the ladies watching are probably like, yeah, I got you. <laughs> so um, when that happens, uh, my back gets really tight and I'm all twisted. And it's not the first time that Chris has uh, seen me twisted. But it felt a lot better after he came. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uh, thanks. <laughs> I know you lost for words, Jerry. <laughs> Honesty, it is. Back to you <laughs> in the studio. That's exactly how I would have handled it. Uh, I quit. <laughs> da, 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 thanks. <laughs> It doesn't get any better than that. I'd ask for a number. That was sexy. <laughs> You're like that. Yeah. Hey, what you doing after this? <laughs> well, women know. We'll be back with more Inside Golf <laughs> right after this. My time of the month. This trainer was working on your back. You cramping? <laughs> yeah, it's my time of yes, the month. as a matter of fact, I am cramping. <laughs> See, that's when you're looking for a Dottie Pepper or an Amanda Balionis there you are. to be on the other side that's of the exactly mic. exactly right. They, yeah. they know. Where's Dottie Pepper when you need mm. her? No, this poor guy. And he's, like most men, okay, uncomfortable, <sighs> Back to you. stumbling, speechless. Exactly. Of course you're not yeah, going to You talk. don't belong there. You don't talk anything about that. You never do. When, but that's the first time I bet a female athlete has mentioned it. I've never heard TV. it. I know I've never heard it before. Yeah. I, I, I think you're probably right. She said, oh, yeah, it's my time of the month. <gasps> <laughs> Is his hand shaking in the yes, frame? Yes, he can no longer <laughs> even control the microphone. The golf channel <laughs> yeah. microphone. The cameraman's probably shaking to the whole thing. <laughs> She's not wearing a Tampax hat by the end of this tournament. She needs to be. <laughs> she needs you're to be right. the spokesperson. Let's get her sponsored. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. She puts it out there. Chris Demis pointed this out to me. Whenever a woman just says they they have some sort of medical procedure and it's uh, on their lady parts they'll just sort of say it with their hands and go it's a it's a it's a, ge- a vague gesture it's like the wax on wax off from karate kid yeah. they'll just say like a semicircle with hands going to be missing some time having a little procedure you doing no, okay yeah then you've got to stop and it's a man you've stopped talking once i was up here in our uh, in our foyer here where the receptionist was and there were two female colleagues chatting and one was going to be missing a couple of weeks. And I said, what's going on? <laughs> there he comes. And she said, you going somewhere fun? <laughs> <laughs> you doing a Disney cruise? <laughs> I was young. And she said, I'm going to see me missing a little time. She started talking Ginger. with her hand. The other woman who worked here just gently squeezed my arm. Okay. And I said, well, oh, what's going on? She goes, I'm having a little procedure. And I said, what's being done? <laughs> Mole removed. Okay. <laughs> the other female colleague, again, pressure, more pressure on the squeeze there. And I was like, you know, I was like trying to get away from her. Do it. Says, what, you going under the knife? What's happening? Where are you going in the hospital? What's happening? Fix that nose finally. So I don't know why I said that stuff, but finally, I, I mean, it was to the point I was in pain. I said, Terry, why are you squeezing my arm? She goes, I need to talk to you for a moment. <laughs> And she got me over here in a studio, in a soundproof studio, and said, you never ask a woman about a procedure Mm -hmm. that she's having done because it's likely on her lady parts. Right. And it turned out it was. So I went back out, and I said, sorry about your lady parts. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know it was going to be on your lady parts. That's before we had an HR department, thankfully. (laughs) (laughs) So true. I ran into a woman that used to work here. Oh, you're going to talk about feeling old. Okay, you'll know her. Okay. okay. She was at the gym yesterday, and uh, I hadn't seen her in a long time. And uh, she worked up in sales, okay? Okay. And um, we were chatting. First, she says, Chris! And I look at her, and I'm like, I know this woman, but I don't. I haven't seen her in a long time. <laughs> oh, no, really? Time. Long time. I was like, okay, I know this woman. I was like, oh! <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Yes. It's you. She goes, boy, I've been keeping up with you. I'm still listening. I said, you are <laughs> phenomenal. Thank you so much. 
And she goes, I've been listening since I left. And I was like, left? <laughs> <laughs> left prison? She left, left him? And then I was the like, continent? I was putting it together. I was like, I bet she worked at the radio station. She says, oh, my God. I said, uh, I said we miss you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you come back to work? <laughs> I said, I said, we need to get you, you back You always do that. You always invite people that got fired or quit. <laughs> she said, the only people that still work there for when I was there are you and Chris Dem. She said, and I was like, oh, okay. So then I'm back in the right ballpark. I'm like, all right. Boy, yeah. Like, that's... All right. I said, well, when did time you, capsule. I said, when did you leave? You've been gone but four or five months. Okay. I said, when did you leave? And she said, now, let's see. I'm, I left when my son was three and he's 28 now. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay. All right. Oh, she said, I'm a grandma. And I was like, oh my gosh, I am so overjoyed for you. And I gave her a big hug. I don't know who she is. <laughs> yeah. Still didn't catch her name. Huh? <laughs> Never got the name. Yeah, you get past that point. A point she, of no return. Exactly. But she was terrific, and she mm-hmm. wanted me to tell you hello. Great. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make you feel? Old? <laughs> so you're welcome. She says hello. But it was really nice to see her. I can tell you that. Sure. That bitch. <laughs> <laughs>